let's do it guys yeah so we've got a package unit that's not coming on um it's an older older package unit but we're gonna get our tools out get set up and see what we got okay so the story behind this one is the we had a a storm come through and uh, had some bad lightning a lot of wind i think they even got a hurt a, a tornado not too far from here but package unit stopped and never came back on so i'm gonna get this thing opened up see what we got i was here about a year two years ago and uh they had a relay for the heater that was stuck so they run the ac and the heat strip would run at the same time so it was fighting the heat Oop. okay i don't know if you guys seen that sometimes all it takes is a good little wiggle little jiggle jiggle wiggle wiggle and uh what we've got here is we have our power coming in here's our panel here power coming into this package unit looks like it goes into the ground behind the mobile home or in, underneath the mobile home out the mobile home and into this package unit here now we've got two sets of wires and really they're supposed to run that in two separate conduits but they've got the high voltage going to the heat strips as you can see here the two two thicker wires it looks like eight gauge wires uh, feeding the 10kw heat six gauge wires and then we have over here another set of wires and you can see that's all burnt up going to that that contact uh that bus bar rather so feeds that bus bar and then we have the power coming out going straight to our contactor now i don't know why i would have just ran it straight to the contactor but that's all right uh but anyways you can see we jiggled that around and just for moving that around it made contact and threw a spark and uh yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and shut the power down and really i'm gonna let the, the homeowner know what i found but we may be able to just connect this back to how it was uh splice that back it got hot for whatever reason we got to figure out why it got hot uh could be uh as easy as this old capacitor causing over amperage to the compressor i mean this is an older unit so uh we'll really have to make the repair and then go through and see why that uh that wire burnt up it obviously got too hot and i mean it could even be just a loose connection you know could be nothing wrong with this old scully dog package unit and as simple as just a, it was a loose connection from the get-go took all this time to do so but uh yeah we've got a big old fat from uh reciprocating compressor so uh, i know the thing pulls a lot of juice <clears throat> old coke and scroll LRA is 90, 96 so we'll take an amp draw on this puppy here take an amp draw on that motor here uh, of course make sure our heat's not running again you can see that newer relay down there I put in a couple years ago uh, it was stuck so Heat strips, were, heat strips were running 24 7 running like Forrest Gump <laughs> all right so I'm gonna shut the power down guys shut them both down verify power is not there because I don't want to get zapped or die rather yet look at that, look at that guys Look at that. Toasty. Gonna go from that to ground. Oh, gotta turn my meter on. Yeah, 
got nothing there. Ooh, got an ant bite me. I'm gonna go from other lug here to ground. Nothing there. Got no power there. No power to our heat strip here. I don't really like this, what they got going on here. I guess that's, uh, that's what it is. <clears throat> yeah, so we can even go to our transformer. No power there. So we're, we are powerless. We have no power. So we're good. So I'm going to strip this back. Uh, customer standing right over my shoulder, believe it or not. She's a sweet gentleman, sweet old lady, older lady. And she uh, turned around, she shook her head. Yeah, go ahead and do what you got to do. So I'm going to cut this back. This one doesn't need to be cut back. And I mean, really, this is just another point of uh, another, another point of resistance. So why even put it back on that bus bar for it to try to make contact, to make contact, to go to the contactor. So, I mean, really, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take these two wires off of here, obsolete these, and put these straight to the top of my contactor. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this taken care of. Now, like I said, I'm gonna absolutely take these off. You can see, well, this got hot too, but I mean, I can probably rock this back and forth. I mean, that's, I don't think that's good. So, needs to say, we're gonna cut this back all the way back past the burnt area to get some fresh wire on there. Now sometimes this gets so hot that that sheathing doesn't want to come off that new that new section of wire you're cutting. And you can cut it back further if you'd like, but I think this is going to be sufficient. Just got to get the sheathing off of there. And you can see that new new shiny copper. And I you know this would be necessary. This bus bar would be necessary in my opinion. If uh, we were going from aluminum to copper, you know, that's a good connection because you don't want to just wire nut this together. But this is just silly, guys. I mean, we don't have a UV light or any kind of accessory that's going to be going to that. So this bus bar, as a preventative measure, should have just been obsolete, even on the installation. You know, I, I know new, newer air temps, Nordine, Nortec, stuff like that, they come with this bus bar for the heat strip. Uh, in the heat strip package and uh, I don't know I mean I'm not a big fan of them I throw them in the, I throw them in the trash but uh, yeah so got it cut back you see the new connection there I'm gonna cut this sucker back here too take it off of here and uh, we could be doing this for nothing you know like I said we could find a we could find a bad component like I told the customer, is uh, I can't guarantee this is going to fix it, but uh, I can guarantee that I, this is the next step I need to take to find out what's really going on here. So, get my flathead. Shout out to Duncan. For keeping it real for us uh, hard working technicians and my bag is a mess guys my bag is a mess and I'm missing tools to get it on my truck clean so I mean I'm just gonna leave wires dangling around here you can 
can see that wire made it all the way made it all the way to this wire here got hot it's a rather thick wire to melt some insulation eight gauge wire so I'm gonna put this right here to our contactor this customer here I mean Every time I come here, I, I do let them know, hey, this, this unit's old, and uh, there's no telling when it's going to go out. Based off of what I'm seeing, there's a lot of older parts here. You got an old contactor here that I'm cranking on right now. You got an old capacitor down there, and it's funny, is every time I come here, I test this old capacitor. Look how bad that thing looks. Looks horrible. But I made it past the test, you know. Check the uh, check for microfarads, and uh, passes every time. 45 by five, and it's reading 40. Last time it was reading 45.2 by 5.1. I mean, that's uh, that's just crazy. I'm all about referring. You know, if I see something funky. I will tell them, hey, and I tell them straight up, you know, because it is what it is. You got to be like that in this field. If you're not like that, you will definitely turn into somebody like that. Wow. Yeah, so I'm just going to take this whole thing out. I'm going to take the whole plastic piece out of there. Keep it clean. And before I do that, I'm going to test this thing out because I don't want to keep cranking on this thing. Wasting my time, wasting their time. Because uh, time is money, and I charge for every second. <clears throat> okay, so now we got that taken care of. We got the wire spliced back. It's on the, on the contactor here. I'm gonna get some of the stuff out the way here. Probably pop a couple zip ties here and there in a minute. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna fire this thing up. See what we got. Gotta stand back because this thing could blow, fellas. And I'm just playing. It's gotta. Okay, the pressure sounds good. We got the fan motor running. The condenser fan motor is running. Everything is running. So I mean, right now I'm gonna go ahead and put the cover back. Put the cover back on the top here. I'm gonna take some ant draws and uh, make sure nothing's over amping but as you can see I mean it just was a burnt wire hey that's a good sign we got a good sign Every, uh, yeah you know it, it very well could have it very well could have struck it and uh, they don't make stuff like they used to that's for sure you know what I mean Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the compressor, guys, is 12.6, 12.8. As you've seen, I showed you on the top of that compressor, 96.7, I think it was, was the LRA. 12.8 uh, for that big old compressor is pretty ideal. So that compressor is pretty, pretty much healthy, in my opinion. Uh, I'm gonna find the condenser fan motor here. I think that's it right there. So I found the condenser fan motor, and the condenser fan motor is 0.9, one amp. You can't beat that. So I'd say that's pretty pretty healthy itself. I'm not even gonna check that capacitor because I know that thing's good. I waste my time every time. It's crazy. I'm gonna test it, guys. I'm just not gonna show you, but uh, yeah. I mean, we got what we got here. Okay, so we got our. Six point seven on our blower motor, guys. You can't beat that. I mean, we got 0.7 on our blower motor, 12 on our compressor, and one amp on our condenser fan motor. I say that's pretty pretty healthy, guys. So I'm gonna wrap this thing up. Uh, I'm gonna check the pressures. Why not? I'm here. It's putting out some pretty warm air, but I still. I'm gonna check the pressures because I, I just like to be uh, be thorough. 
old frigid air. And I will not be using these on this old 22 system. Um, I'm gonna use my analogs. So I'm gonna go put these up, get my analogs out. But yeah, I'm gonna if the if the pressures are good, I'm gonna wrap this up. I, I, I don't want to make the video too long. I know I'm getting a lot of uh, guys not hanging out for the whole video. They're watching some of the video. That's cool and all. It doesn't doesn't bother me, but I want to make content that you guys are gonna watch, you guys like, and uh, yeah. So they got a drain line here. Seems like it's dry, so I'm gonna pour some uh, pour some water in it. Have some water in our trap here. I'm gonna go inside, take some temperature splits. I already took my hand draws. I'm gonna collect that that green back and uh, get on get on down the road. So appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't already, hit that like button. Sharing is caring. I don't expect none of it. But it helps my channel grow long time so appreciate you guys watching uh if you haven't already hit that like button make sure you hit that like button for me and uh i'm here for a long haul i'm gonna keep bringing videos to you guys so we'll catch you on the next one peace